What's going on, you guys? How's it going this evening? It's David here. It is 7.40 in the evening, Pacific time. Just kind of hanging out. I was just thinking about something and wanted to come in here and talk about it. And there's some people that are going to get upset at this because of what it is, but... <coughs> It was a concern when I was a young 18 year old or so, but my biological father was convicted of a crime and for several years, several years after he was convicted of a crime, I was very concerned that I was going to be the same way. Not because of the way I felt or the way I thought. <coughs> Pardon me. Simply because lineage and he I'm not going to tell the whole story or anything because I, I don't know it but he had relations with an uh, underage person. I don't know how underage. I think she was 17. Maybe she was 16 or 15. I'm not sure. But, um, my biological father was also, he also did drugs. And he still might, I'm not sure, but. <coughs> I knew for a fact I was never, ever, ever going to do that. That wasn't something I was willing to do. And not like pot, because I've done pot a couple times. And I've done meth once. And he was addicted to methamphetamine. Or maybe he was addicted, I don't know. Maybe he just did it for fun. <coughs> but. That taught me a lesson. Man, I'm going to wet this whistle. Sorry, guys. Maybe that'll work. I've got a, quite the cough for the last couple days. But. Growing up, seeing how much it was such a factor in his life, I knew I was never going to be a drug addict. That was never going to come into play. <coughs> I never ever drank. I mean, not that I never ever drank. I drank, if I had to guess, up until now, I probably averaged twice a year you know I'm sure there was times where I drank five times in a year and there was times where I drank no times in a year but I bet, bet I would probably average about five times a year <coughs> but I never I did methamphetamines one time And I thought it was the stupidest thing ever. Like, I paid 20 bucks to walk around the block 10 times. I could do that for free. That's all I did. I just walked and I just thought it was stupid. And then, you know, I made a joke a couple times. I did a joke a couple times <coughs> about the meth diet. Not on my. YouTube channel, but I've done it before when I was younger. Meth diet. It doesn't cost that much because it's about the same as diet food and all this stuff, but the dentist bill is what really hurts. <laughs> but I knew I was never going to be a drug addict, and I knew I was never going to be an alcoholic. <coughs> that being said, I probably am a gambling addict. 
and crack. Don't do crack, but I do not do crack. I just say it all the time just to mess with people sometimes. Um, but this particular thing, having relations with younger people and not really caring about it, I was concerned about that as a younger person. And <coughs> for me personally, it was never something that I did, but it was something that I was scared of. Like, am I that person too? Am I... I don't want to say pedophile because it's so, like, it's, I don't know. A 40-year-old something man having relations with a 17-year-old something lady. I mean, that's pretty pedophilic. <laughs> talking about it because it was something that I was worried about but anyhow it's okay honey <coughs> man this cough has got me going it was when I was laying down I was good when I was no when I was laying down I was coughing real bad but when I sat up it was okay and I didn't know what that was so now I'm just trying to sit up again <coughs> it doesn't seem to be working. And I did just take some some cough syrup. I don't know what kind it is. Prescription cough syrup. I said, where's that stuff at? She goes, it's right here in your drawer. I was like, good, now I know where my drinks are. Anyhow. It is, for me personally, it was a concern for the first part of my, you know, young adulthood. And then as I started getting older, even into like 21, 22, 23, like, why would that even be a concern to me? I'm not an idiot. Like some people, dad. It was just like, wow. So, <coughs> what are you doing? Go, oh, I'm trying to talk about something. Help you go. Yeah. Gracie got me gum for Christmas. And it's my favorite kind of gum. My favorite kind of gum, my favorite kind of so soda, but it's called Big Red. And Wrigley's Big Red is cinnamon, but my favorite soda is also Big Red. And that's not cinnamon, that's like a cream soda, red, so red soda that... 